Hello! Welcome to the first video that I might upload. Today I'm going to be doing the three color art challenge. This is usually done traditionally with markers, but since I am more of a digital artist, I thought it would be fun to use a random color generator to obtain the three random colors that I will be using. Here I am just starting off with a simple sketch. I settled on a simple profile drawing of this girl holding coffee because how much more basic can I possibly get? Here I am going through the inking process. There's something so satisfying about watching inking speed paints or the inking portion of a speed paint. It's almost like visual ASMR. Now I'm going through and just adding some light shadows, still using the same brush with a black ink. And I like to do this and then turn all of my layers into an overlay mode. That way it will just become a darker color of the color that's underneath it. I don't know if that made much sense, but you guys will see what I'm talking about later on when I turn the colors on overlay mode. Also, if you're curious, the brush that I'm using is called Tara's Oval Sketch Brush and it is one of my favorite brushes. I will link it down below as to where you can purchase it, but it is amazing. I use it for sketching, for inking, for coloring, pretty much every single step of my painting process I can use this brush for, which is really, really awesome. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, time for the colors. So I just went on a random color generator and that is how I obtain my three random colors. I went ahead and screenshotted these colors and imported them into my drawing so I can directly color pick off of them. And as you can see, these three colors are very saturated very bright and also very light <laughs> and this became a pretty big issue later on here i am just trying to blend the colors together seeing what new colors i can create out of them i tried my best not to mess with the saturation or the hue or the lightness or darkness of the colors because I feel like that's almost cheating since by messing with the saturation you're getting a brand new color and so instead I wanted to use directly either these three colors by color picking them or by mixing the colors and getting new colors from them. Which didn't work out too well because the new colors that I would mix just turned out really muddy and weren't that appealing.
Now this is where I really really struggled was her skin. I didn't know if I wanted to keep her skin green or make it blue so I did this weird hybrid of both and she ended up just looking like the child of Shrek and a smurf. Essentially if Shrek and a smurf had a baby it would be her. So yeah. <laughs> It was really challenging to create contrast within this piece just because as I said before I couldn't get any dark colors. I kept mixing the colors together thinking that I would magically obtain a darker color but if there's one thing I learned from this challenge is that mixing three light colors will not magically get me a dark color. So I had to learn that the hard way because I literally mix these three colors probably over 50 times. I also created that circle design behind her because I again wanted to try to create more contrast and I think it definitely helped. It made her beautiful green skin pop even more. <laughs> And as you can see, there's a lot of going back and forth. Um, I really wasn't sure. Like halfway through, I didn't know where I was going with this piece. And it definitely got frustrating because, you know, I only had these three colors. And again, they're all very saturated. And so it was a little difficult finding a balance without having this piece just look like this bright, like in your face bold unappealing drawing so really i just kept going back and forth until i achieved something that i was somewhat proud of that i was somewhat happy with but you will see me being very indecisive throughout this whole painting So this last step may be seen as cheating because I outlined the right side of her body. Oh, is that the right? Yeah, the right side? The left side. The right side of her body with the bright teal color and then I put the whole layer on color dodge. So essentially it turned that teal color into a bright white and that just added a rim highlight on her to make her pop more and again add more contrast. And then again, I did the left side, I outlined that in the blue color and then I made that layer on multiply and that just darkened the color to once again, add some contrast, give her a little drop shadow almost. <laughs> this may be seen as cheating, but I just wanted to do something that will make the overall image pop more. And I think it really, really helped and brought it together, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out overall. I feel like I learned a lot from doing this and I definitely have a greater appreciation for the limitless amount of colors that I have every single day at my disposal, um, especially as a digital artist. 
And overall, it was a super fun challenge. If you guys want to give it a try, I highly recommend it, whether you are a digital artist or a traditional artist. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.